Nowadays, the best and easiest way to enjoy classic retro gaming is through emulation, and you don't need a computer to do it. You can do it right on that device in your pocket. So in this video, I'm sharing what I consider to be the best 10 video game emulators to use on your Android phone or tablet. Also, if I have a setup guide for these emulators, links will be in the description below. Kicking things off at number 10 is the Nintendo Switch emulator Yuzu. Now I didn't see this one coming to mobile but I'm glad it did. And the developers are constantly putting out new updates that just keeps making this emulator better. Give it a full year and I'm sure this will run great on Android. As of right now though, Yuzu only works with newer phones that have the latest Snapdragons in them. Also this emulator is making your phone overheat but I'm sure over time they will work out the overheating issue and performance will only get better. It's just amazing that we can run current gen on our cell phone. Yuzu is free on the Google Play Store. Next at number 9 is a Nintendo 64 emulator called M64 Plus FZ. This is a great N64 emulator that offers everything your typical emulator will offer you. M64 also has some video plugins, but not every video plugin works on every device and some devices have better support than others. Overall, this is a good N64 emulator that is quite easy to set up on your Android device and play some Mario 64. M64 Plus FZ is available free on the Google Play Store, and there is also a paid version that will cost you $4. I suggest sticking with the free version. Number 8 is Citra, the Nintendo 3DS emulator. If you want to play some Pokemon Sun or X on the go, then Citra is what you need. You have your usual stuff found on emulators like save and load states, you can upscale your graphics and use texture filters. And if you upgrade to the premium version, you will get some additional texture filters. Citra has pretty good game compatibility, allowing you to play all the big titles that was released on the 3DS, but better of course. You can get this emulator on the Google Play Store for free. Number seven is ReDream, the Dreamcast emulator. Now, Dreamcast is my favorite system from Sega and playing it on the go makes things better. This emulator has a pretty and easy to navigate interface. It has good game support and no map controller support. Also, you can upscale your graphics, but only with the paid version of ReDream, which will cost you $6. Now I prefer ReDream, but you can also check out Rycast, another Dreamcast emulator that is free. You can pick them both up on the Google Play Store. Number six is DuckStation, my favorite original PlayStation emulator on Android. There is also EPSXE, which was my go-to emulator for years, but now I prefer DuckStation. Its interface is better and setup is easier. You have graphic upscaling, texture correction, and high game compatibility. Now, this emulator is not in development anymore, so you won't get any updates, but it was left in a good state. Also, you will need to download a BIOS file to be able to play your ROMs, which isn't hard to find, just do a Google search. DuckStation is free to download on the Google Play Store. Taking the halfway spot is PSP's emulator, PPSSPP. The PSP has some pretty good exclusive games and you can still experience them on a handheld device that is Android. The only difference is now you can upscale those graphics and make those games look gorgeous. The game compatibility is great and the emulator is easy to navigate and has a beautiful interface. You can download PPSSP on the Google Play Store for free. Then there is also a gold version that offers a few extra features that aren't worth the $5 you will pay for it. Number four is the GameCube slash Wii emulator, Dolphin. 
Now you will most likely use this emulator for GameCube games because a lot of Wii games use motion controls that you just can't do with your phone. But games that require little or no motion controls can be played with no issues. This emulator has a easy to navigate interface, is not hard to set up, and offers my favorite, graphic upscaling. And having your games run at 60 FPS, as long as you have a pretty powerful phone that is. You can download Dolphin on the Google Play Store for free. Number three is the Nintendo DS emulator, Drastic. Now, I think everyone will agree that the DS had the best Pokemon games ever available on a system. And what better way to experience them today than on your Android device? This emulator gives you the ability to enhance a game's graphics, customizable screen placement and size, support for external controllers, save states, and fast forwarding to increase emulation speed. And for each game, you'll have access to a database featuring thousands of game enhancement codes. This emulator is available on the Google Play Store and it will cost you $5, but I think it is worth it. Coming in at number two is RetroArch, the all-in-one hub for your retro emulators. So RetroArch has multiple retro emulators built into it, but they call them cores within RetroArch. So your Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and NES, just to name a few, can all be emulated within this one emulator. Now RetroArch has a lot of options and can have a lot of on-screen buttons if you're not using a controller. This can make the setup complicated for someone new to emulation, but with time, you will learn it and appreciate all that it has to offer in just one emulator. RetroArch is free on the Google Play Store. My number one pick is the PlayStation 2 emulator Aether SX2. No longer in development, but left stable. PS2 is my favorite console of all time, so to be able to play it on my phone gets no better. But note that games will slow down or stutter if the graphical requirements become too high. But this varies from game to game and depends on the power of your device. But if you have a newer device that's pretty powerful, then you will be good to go. Also, you may want to have a controller to have the best experience. You can download Aether SX2 on Google Play for free. So those are the top 10 emulators that I think are a must have on Android. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my picks in the comments below. And I will catch you in the next one.